What's going on on me buddies? Mitch here and today we are doing an unboxing and it is a big old box from Kickstarter from France. All right, so if you've watched my channel for a very long time, you may have picked up on a uh, comic book series. I actually haven't done an overview on it before, and really I should because it is not well known, but the people who do know it absolutely love this series, and it is Castle in the Stars. It is frigging gorgeous, and you know what? There was a Kickstarter uh, that came out, I don't know, a solid year ago. That is an art book collection of the series. And usually I don't do art books really ever because I don't have the shelf space and it's a lot of extra funds for just art books, even though, man, those books are just phenomenal. Just gorgeous watercolor art just amazing and the stories are super fun from castle in the stars but so i actually backed it it was a double book slipcase edition a lot of cool extra stuff it finally came in from the kickstarter all the way across the pond and i'm a little nervous because it's got you know like a big dent here it's got a big hole there it, you know it's just it's not looking great but Kind of a cool box though. Like, let's see if we can get that in focus. Yeah, you can kind of see there. And then, bam, look at that. Ooh, so good. And then I just love seeing like postage stuff from other countries. Super cool. Anyways, let's cut this open. And I'm a little nervous because you can kind of wiggles around inside. So, um, let's, uh, Let's cut this open and let's find out what it looks like if it survived. Now, I know that there are French editions of this and there are English editions. I ordered the English editions and I've, uh, I was already notified and I've seen online that there were multiple reports of this happening with this uh, specific English slipcase edition in America uh, with the version I backed that they may have, and that's a pretty, pretty cool box though. Like, look at that. That's super cool. Um, that there may have been uh, issues with one damage because some of them were not packed right at all. And I'm a little worried that mine's one of those. Uh, and there is another thing where one of the two books was sent in French instead of English, but they are making good on all those. So let's check it out. Let's dig in. There is some really cool stuff I know with extras in here. And so we're going to look at that, but let's get this book open. Okay. So it is kind of free floating in here. Let's see. Let's see how it survived. Uh, wow. These things are huge. So a little, little dented on the corner, like down here, a little smoosh, not too bad. Uh, let's get it out of this uh, plastic wrap. Because plastic wrap is actually like, oh yeah, that stinks. So <laughs> uh, I know they'll make good on this, but like my slipcase is like totally torn open and all that. But let's uh, let's check it out. Let's man, this thing is huge. This is a huge slipcase edition. So we'll get this going. There's the actual books, like some nice kind of. Uh, not linen texture, but like paper textured. And then let's check it out. Boom. And I ordered the, uh, the linen books with like the foil cover in them. So let's see, let's see what's in here. And doesn't look like I got the linen textured ones. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of a different one. <laughs> I'm thinking of, there's a different Kickstarter. Oh, anyways, uh, let's check this out. Oh, wow. These things are like big square bound books. And then, oh, they got dust jackets on them. Oh, wow. Look at that foil. Sheesh. Really nice, nice looking. These, oh man. And then it's got like that embossing on there. 
see if you can catch shadow on there. It's like right there, it's like a embossed crest. Oof, these things are real nice. So that's a uh, wow. Look at that. Oh, it's a print right there. Ooh, very nice paper. I am a huge, huge sucker for end of sheet paper and paper uh, art, and that is some of the better stuff I've seen. Just beautiful. We got prototypes in here, and this is all like uh, the whole thing is like a steampunk. Like, what if the you know, like in the 1800s, they were able to do space travel to like Mars and the Moon and all that, and using like big airships and like steam powered airship. So that's kind of, yeah. Oh, wow. So this is all art from that series. Uh, pretty much not totally created just for this, but a lot of like the extra art and about, yep. So I got, um, what? okay. So that's some English and French. So wow, look at this. So nice. Woo. But really, really, really hard to hold up on camera here. Oh, wow. Such cool art. Y'all, if you haven't seen these books, I'm actually going to grab them out, grab one of the books out here so you can see them. But wow, look at the stuff. Such cool art. Wow. Wow. And I got to say, it's been really cool following this just because like all the updates are in English and uh, French. And so like the first half of the, uh, the first up part of the update is in English. And then the second half uh, is then he does it in uh, French and does, oh, let's take off the dust cover real quick. See what's under there. Oof. Real nice. Got like a, I got a foily look to it in there. Ooh, nice. Gorgeous. All right, let's, uh, I won't dig through the other book too much. Let's see if that, let's, I'll take a closer look and make sure later on. But here is the second book right here. Uh, it's not even on camera. These books are so big. So heavy. Oh man, I love this art so much. I think, judging from some, yep, I got one of the French editions here. So I'll have to uh, contact them. I mean, they already let me know that I was one of the, probably one of the unlucky 150 people that uh, got it in uh, French instead of English like I ordered. But dude, I can still totally appreciate this art and enjoy at least the other book for now. Oh, there's another print in there. Boom. I think it's the same print. That's cool. Uh, yeah. And then it's got the blue front on there. I don't know, maybe you can see that emboss a little bit more on there than the back. There's like a whole ton of like travel guide stuff in here. All right, let's, uh, let's check out the envelopes with a bunch of the stuff in here. So we got Original art by Alex Alice. So that's the artist. Like all these postcards. Oof. Oh yeah, and then they're like postcard stuff on the back. Very cool. Very cool design pieces. This like blew up on Kickstarter and he ended up adding so much cool stuff to this Kickstarter, like these postcards and the prints in there and then all right let's see let's see what else we got okay so this is the uh art book Ooh, another art book on top of it. it's like a yeah art books and more Jeez, just so much art that they ended up adding to this thing so it's a whole children's book art books and sketchbook education graphic novels photography wow so just tons of extra stuff in here. Very cool. This looks like it might be tossed in because it's part of uh, who he publishes through. 
I think, maybe. Very cool. You never know with all these. Uh, like, I, I follow the um, Kickstarters pretty closely, but when they start doing a ton of extra add-ons and stretch goals, I kind of lose track after a while and stop following because a lot of times there's just so much. All right, so this very cool little envelope. And it got a little bit damaged on the bottom, but uh, here, let's... Let's let's see. It might actually be easier to open it from this damaged side. <laughs> uh, let's see. That open. Come on. Come on. Never open an envelope from the opposite side before they know of. But it seemed like the easier, cleaner way of going about it. Because I do like to save these, especially when they have that like cool printing on there. So, wow, there is a ton of stuff in there. All right, let's get this going. Woo. It's not as much an unboxing, but an un enveloping. So we got like a dear backer note in here. The universe in 1875, a superlative. It's a prelative art book produced and published thanks to you and is now held in your hands. Proud moment is due to your wholehearted support for November's crowdfunding campaign. Okay, so November. Yeah, so it was last November. So it has been nearly a year. Uh, but yeah, thank you. And then like his like their traditional stuff, the top is in English and then it's also in French on the bottom. So let's uh, let's check this out. So we got Cool art print in here, like a big, cool, yeah. And then some printing on the back, like uh, I think he did like a menu, exposition, expose. Yeah, so he did like this whole like, uh, uh, like all these different funky art gallery type expose things and then um, menu things, things that you'd find in 1875 in like the you know, travel guides and stuff. So we got some really nice little bookmarks in here. Very pretty. And then, oh, I think this is the, yeah, so this is like the menu that you would get. So the specialties, like designed a whole menu in here with costs and everything. Super cool. Very original, like extras. And then, oh man, this is cool. All right, so let's try this out. Then... We got like, like folds out and shows you a whole bunch of different characters and not necessarily characters, but like, uh, like uh, models and uh, what a lot of the characters and art and design looks like in the book. Really cool stuff. Like, this artist, Alex Lexa, has like put so much into creating a world and you can really tell. So this is uh, Plan l'Exposition Interplanetary, something like that. Sorry, I know that my English is so bad and then I'm trying to do uh, French, which I did not take French in high school. I took Spanish and I'm still horrendous at it. Oh, this is the map. Oh, nice. Wow. Very cool. Very cool to see this. You kind of see how it's almost got like this faded look to it. Really cool art. Wow. Just, <laughs> I'm blown away that people can make this kind of stuff. And just, not, not that they can make it, but that they have the... Uh, tenacity and just the creativity to be like I'm gonna make up a map and I'm gonna make up an entire thing in this art style oh man look at this the whole like oh my gosh it's a whole planet Venus map wow friggin cool look at that look at that jeez just so cool Man, I like that's a cool thing. Like I'd I'd frame and try and put up on a wall or something somewhere. So then we got more, and it's this nice linen 
linen paper on here. And then let's see what else we got here. I think this might be a travel poster or something. No, this isn't the travel poster. Maybe it is. Oof. Poster for the exposition. But wow. Very cool. I'm always like, I love these posters. And I know they have to fold them to ship them this way, but I'm always a little sad that they get folded because it, you know, it folds on the art and then the art is folded. So here is like a travel poster for Mars in here. Super cool. It's on like nice thick glossy paper, semi-glossy. That's ultra glossy or anything like that, but very cool art there. And then, yeah, I think, I think that that is the totality of the stuff. So we got the two books, all those art pieces. Here's one of the books. And so I'll have to let them know I did, in fact, get the French book. And then this is a really cool, really nice slip case, too. Like, really nice. And I could have dealt with just the bumped corner, a couple bumped corners. That's not a big deal. But, oh, it's got that nice foil on there. Ooh-wee. Real nice. But, yeah, if my slip case is already, like, split a third to nearly half of the way down. I'll see what they can do. But if they can't, if it's something crazy, you know what, it sits on the bottom. It's not gonna hurt it too much. Uh, but yeah, super cool. Uh, if you have not seen Alex, Alice's art, where am I at? Where is these at? These books, so, so nice. And I'm gonna have to do an overview of these soon. But there are four volumes in English and uh, I think there's a fifth volume in French out right now, and it takes them quite a while to get them translated and brought to English, but definitely worth the wait. Here's volume one, volume two, volume three, and four. And obviously you can see that they are not super thick volumes, um, but they definitely pack a punch and are very much worth it. Uh, the art, you can see, obviously, fits what you just saw. Um, but yeah, look at that artwork. Just, just beyond most anything you'll come across in comics nowadays. There's a ton of, like, yeah, they're short, they're thinner books, but there is a ton of text and dialogue on these pages. And you see so many of these cutaways and like uh, diagrams on how things work and function. And wow, it just, just will blow you away. And such, such cool stories. Very fun, really cool adventures, you know, based in the 1800s, but you know, they're space travelers and they are dealing with politics and intrigue and love and all of that cool stuff. But it is just drawn in such a gorgeous way with this watercolor and oh man yeah so it's a space race of 1869 we have a frenchman frenchman on mars we have knights of mars and then the moon king really fun stuff i am so excited for volume five to come out uh and i cannot wait to dig through these uh art books such a cool kickstarter absolutely ecstatic to have them in my hands now after nearly a year and tracking all the stuff and adding all these extra things so cool but uh that's it uh if you enjoyed this make sure to check out my other overviews i got tons of other overviews going on i'm always doing unboxings uh, unboxings have slowed down quite a bit because i've tried to uh pull back on my buying as much so that I can read more. And I've actually been reading a ton more. I haven't been doing a ton of overviews lately, but more are coming, but I have been reading a ton more. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube, obviously you're watching on YouTube, um, Twitter, kind of on Twitter, or X, whatever it's called, Facebook, I'm all over Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube are my main channels. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, do all those things. But the most important thing to do is comment. You are going to be hard pressed 
to find any comment on any of my channels anywhere where I have not responded. I know I have two comments on YouTube right now that I haven't responded to and I think I'm caught up everywhere else. So it might take me a little time, but I do love talking with y'all and I do comment back. So let me know what your absolute favorite Kickstarter is that you've come across and or let me know what your absolute favorite art book like coffee book style uh, comic related material is that you have let us know in the comments all right i'll let you go take care stay cool